Sangvi San Pharma, the American market, is easily the biggest. But with that market turning sluggish, Indian drug makers, including San Pharma, have been having a pretty tough time. But the founder of India's largest pharmaceutical company has a simple prescription to cure this problem. CNBC TV 80's Archana Shukla finds out what that is. India's richest man, maverick businessman Dilip Sangvi, is by no means new to trying times nor is he averse to taking swift action when a course correction is needed. So it's no surprise that when he walked up on stage to receive the 2016 Leadership Award by the US IBC, his message to companies struggling with sluggish global growth was simple. Prime Minister, sir, we promise you that uh, as your make in India call to Indian industrialists and global citizens, we will not only make in India, but we will innovate in India and take the products that we develop and make to the world. For the Indian pharma industry, which is the biggest exporter of generic drugs to the US market, this is a clarion call and a much needed one because over the last year, regulatory hassles have made that market tougher to navigate. However, Sangvi says that this is also the time to dig in and do more to maintain ownership of the US market. In last few years, both in growing our business and in acquiring business, we have invested close to $4 billion in the U.S. And uh, we continue to invest in the U.S., both in manufacturing infrastructure as well as in R&D. Out of $450 million that we will spend in R&D, $200 million we will spend in the U.S. That does not mean stick with existing strategies. So in a bid to spur growth in India and emerging markets, Sun Pharma has decided to expand its global consumer healthcare portfolio and added its first skincare product through its global consumer healthcare business. This will see sunscreen brand Suncross, which has been selling through the prescription route since 2005, now being co-marketed as an over-the-counter product. The intention that we have is can we use this uh, this franchise and take it global. Can we create some large global brands in the consumer space using this particular group? Let me just say that it is relatively a smaller part of the business now, but we think which it can become far bigger than what it is. And clearly in the foreseeable future, it will be one of the fastest growing businesses for Sun Pharma going ahead. My sense is that it will continue to grow at more than twice the rate of the typical prescription pharmaceutical business which is around 10 to 12 percent. So that's the norm. It would be around 20 to 25 percent. In the initial phase, that's the minimum that we could be looking at. This is not a brand new strategy, though, merely a ramping up on an existing one. After all, Sun Pharma, which acquired the consumer healthcare business when it bought Ranbaxi, has already added key brands like Volini and Revital to its portfolio. In Mumbai, Archana Shukla, 